The playing field is a place where people from all walks of life sideline their differences and come together on the grounds of two simple things, peace and play. It's where language is not a barrier because rules are universal. And even the wars of enemies share heroes. But imagine all that was left of the playing field was destruction and ruminations of legacies that could have been. This is reality for many children in armed conflicts as their surroundings crumble, including their spaces to play, which makes them vulnerable to being recruited from the football lineup for the ranks of armed groups. But children in conflict cannot be sidelined. Even though my own father and other family members were killed in conflict before I ever lost a baby thought, playtime was my escape. I was born in Sierra Leone and endure all the atrocities of war, homemade games, and the universe of my imagination salvaged a bit of childhood I had left. Yes, war hindered my ability to play, but my will to play was unbreakable. A child in conflict is still a child, and she or he has the right to play. The campaign let them play by the Office of the Special Representative of the UN Secretary General for Children and Armed Conflict reminds us of exactly this. Together, we can remind parties to conflict that children should not endure grave violations. We can support organizations that reintegrate and protect children and encourage the international community to integrate child rights into policies. Most importantly, we can join initiatives that let children play, freeing children's minds so that they have a future and hope. Simply put, children belong on the playing field, not the battlefield. I'm Virginia Gamba. I am Sonia Gisa. I am Mohamed Sedebe. And together we say, let them play.